Hello, Mr. Eric, Mr. Ryan, how are you today? Good. Good, okay, so today we talk about uh, permutation. Permutation. Do you, we talk about this before, yeah? Permutation, what is permutation? Look at the numbers. Yeah, it's just a different way to with the uh, you're given a list of the elements and permutation is that the number of possible different orders. Yeah. So look, oh, yeah. one two three. We're given the list one two three, and then the six ways. Whoa, yeah, three times two times one six ways. So look, two three one is one of the permutation. Yeah, yeah, am I right? Yeah. So if you want to write this four permutation, how many? One, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, and what? Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, so basically this one has three possibilities. The second place has two possibilities. And the third one? One possibility. So that's uh, how many? If there are n elements, how many possibilities? We talk uh, about this. N factorial. Where well, the n factor? Yes, because this is n times n minus one times n minus two times t one, right? This is exactly n factorial, am I? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So today the task is to given a uh, a a list of unique elements. Okay, you can say it's unique. It doesn't contain duplicates, and then you need to generate all these possibilities. Interesting. Any ideas how we're doing it? How we're doing it? Look, look. let's do this three, uh, one, two, three, for example. How can we generate this? You check how many numbers are in the list. Yeah, I know, and I'm already, this is nums. Okay, then let's say this is nums. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so now, how, how can we generate the four perm uh, permutations? Uh, how, any, any idea how we're doing this? Uh, Any idea, Ryan? No? Yes, swap. Yes, yeah, swapping. Yes, that's a very good point. How can we swap? And how about, look, 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 let's say we are here, yeah? Yeah. We swap, swap it. We swap with, with the, all the elements on the on or on the right of hand side. So we swap one with one so it doesn't change. We swap, look, we swap, we swap one and one. Okay? One and two. And then swap one and two, so that becomes two, one, three. three. And then swap one and three, that will be three, two, one, right? Yes? All right? Yeah. That, that's that like when you're here, you swap it with anything on or on the right hand side, okay? And then you go to the next one. So when you go to the next one, so like, look, two, you're going to the next one, right? And then you again you swap it with one and three, so that will be another one, two, three, one. And then again you swap two and one, and that will be another three, one, two. Right? Got yeah. One, three, and then look. Two. Sorry. How about one, three, two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look three, one. Swap with one, and then go to the next one, and then swap. Swap three with two, so that's one, three, two. Got it? So this way you can generate all the per uh, permutation. Yeah. Does, does it make sense? Look, I, I give you one, uh, I, I explain one more time, okay? So this is like that, okay? So one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm at this position, okay? I can, I want to swap one to one, then that's the one possibility, one and one, and then I move it to the next. Then the next position will be Next permutation will be from here, right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe I, I know, I know how to do it. <clears throat> so now, the first first one will be one, right? And then the second one will be two. The third one will be three. One, two, three, okay? So when you swap one, first one with one, it's here, right? When you swap with one and two, it's here, right? When you split, swap three with one, it's here. The first one, yeah? And then you go down, go next. You go next, then you'll be... And then when you swap one with one, the first one is determined, it's one. And then, then you have two, three, right? 
All right? Yeah. You need to permutate two, three. Per, uh, so, look, you swap two with two, then the second one is two. You swap two with three, the second one is three. Right? Very right, good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. When you swap two with two, then obviously you, you, you can only have a three at last, because three, you move to the next. When you swap three with two, and then here is two, right? You move it to the next, so it's two. Okay? Got it? Okay, how about this? <clears throat> you, you one, swap it with two. Right? Then you become two, one, three, and then now you move it to here. Right? Again, you can swap one with one, so it doesn't change. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. You swap with three, then look, what? It becomes three. And when it's one, obviously, it will be three here. And then when it's three, and then one will be left, next will be one. Got it? Yeah? Okay, let's take a look at the last example, okay? Three. One, two, three. Look. You swap with one and three, they'll become one, three, one, two, but you are not at the second position, yeah? Eric, look. Yeah. Okay, you tell me what to write. Look, look, one swap is one, so what do I put here? One swap is one, it doesn't change, so what should I put here? One. One. Okay, one swap is two, so it's two, one, and you move it to the next. So, so that's two, right? And the next one will be one, and then when you, it doesn't swap, the next one is two. Got it? So look. First one, three possibility. The second one, right? Two possibility. And the third one, only one possibility. Because it's you pick two and it's only one, right? So that's six. Alright? Yes? What's the term complexity? Term complexity. Um, oh, what? Wow. That's very easy. How many, how many possibilities are we can, can, can we can get? No, how many possibilities one. are we getting here? N factorial. Yeah, where's our N factorial? Because look, this is. They did, the, the, we That's need not easy. That's not easy, yes, I know it's not easy, it's a bit tricky. What's the space complexity if we want to store all these in an array? What's the space complexity? Uh, well done, yeah, that's an easy question, yeah? Okay. Yeah, easy. <clears throat> okay, let, let's do this, look. Cash. Just no, we don't need the cash today. Define, because we are generating, so we are generating these using the recursion, yeah? Recursion, yeah? We define perm, let's say permutation, okay? Let's give a, a nums here, all right? Eric, look, nums, okay? And then let's do this, Eric, look. Eric, Eric. Answer, we, we are given a list here, okay? This is a list uh, to store all the permutation, yeah? And given the numbers, like one, two, three, we see the unique, okay? Okay? Eric, look. Now we define another function called, uh, let's call it helper, helper function, okay? Or maybe DFS, death first search, okay? Or recursion, death first search. Yeah, because recursion is kind of, it's not exactly, okay, maybe just to call it helper to prevent its misleading, okay? And then we have what is current, current, okay? Current position, so at the beginning you'll be uh, anyway. One, two, three. At the beginning, you will be pointing here. This is current, okay? Which is zero, okay? Current you is zero. Help her. And, and what? And what? And then maybe let, let's see now, okay? Uh, look, if current equals length of numbers, right? Eric, look, if this current index is reaching the end, so we have one permutation, then we need to add it into the answer, yeah? So then we say answer, append. Let's take a deep copy, all right? Remember, we, we need to take a deep copy. Because if you don't take a deep copy, you, you just copy the reference, right? We don't want that, right? All right? Mm -hmm. So deep copy lump, right? And then return. That's it. And then now look, look, we, we are from current, right? Eric? Right? Current. Now we need to go through current, current plus one, current plus two, until the end, and swap each one to the current, right? Yeah? Look, then for i in range current. Current and what? 
the end, the end of the lungs. So there will be men's lungs, right? Right? And then now I will be current, current plus one, current plus two. And for each one, I need to swap with current, right? Right? Yeah. So look, help her. Help her what? Uh, no, uh, swap current. So lungs, I, and lungs, left, and current needs to be swapped. How do we swap it? Eric, A and B, how do you swap the value of A and B? How do you swap it? Usually, how do you swap it? A. How do you write it? A and B, I want to swap the value of A and one? No, 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 A and B. I want to swap A and B values. How do you swap it? You know, you don't swap A it. A equals B. And? B equals A. No, that wouldn't work, but that's a good try. That wouldn't work. Why is that? A equals B. A and B both equals B. And B equals A. A and B both equals B. Right? Because A is already equals to B. Got it? Yeah. So how do you fix this? You can, you can do this. You can have a variable. T equals A. I save the value in T. Right? 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 Yeah. And then what? A equals B. And then B equals what? Well done, look, A equals B, now B equals T, because T is the original value of A. So let's swap, yeah? Got it? Yeah. But you can, in Python, you can do this. A comma B equals B comma A. Easy. Got it? A equals B, B equals A. Simple. Got it? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so look here, we want to swap this. Lums I, lums current, right? Equals what? Uh, equals what? Equals... Nums I, nums current equals what? Nums. Come on, A, B equals B, A. Nums I, nums current equals what? Nums current. Yeah, and? Nums I. Yeah, we're done. Okay, I'm not going to write it, you know, okay? And now, look, we swap it, yeah? We swap this value, and then we need to move it to the next one. Right? Alright. Alright, alright. Look, this is very useful. Look, I already swap it, right? I already look. I'm currently here, right? Alright, look at look at my hand. I'm currently currently here, right? And now, my hand, I, yeah, I will be current. Look, I, yeah, here. here, here, and each one I need to swap it, yeah. Alright, look at my hand, eh? Yeah. I need to swap it. After I swap it, I need to call this function to, to permutate the next, right? So it will be help. Help. Can you feel the value here? Help her. And after swapping, I need to move it back, right? After swapping, I need to move it back. So this, this thing will be copied again. Read it. So that, look, I'm current here. Look, after I swap it, I need to move it to the next. So what's this? What's here? What's, what's here? You're very close. Look. I swap it. Look, after I swap it, 2 is 1, then it become 2, 1, 3. But now, I can't, I need to move it. I want to... I already, I already determined this place. I want to Nums. terminate the... the, the no? No? The, the small... equals 3. This is current, and I'm, I have a current, and I want to move it to the next. What's, what, what's that? This is current, and then current up. Current equals three. Current equals three. No, Eric, you need to understand this. I'm I'm cur current pointing here. I want to I want to try each possibility of this position, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be one, two, three. I swap it one with one. I swap it two with one. I swap it three with one. After I make after I determine this place, I need to permutate current. with the current. This is current, and I want to move it to the next one. Current. Current. Add one. Current add one. Yes. Why? What I take you so hard to understand this? Do you understand? Yeah. Because look, current is incrementing, and when it's reaching the end, it means we have a permutation, and then we add it to the answer. 
right? So here I'm calling helper. What should I put here? Value. And then return what? Call answer. Return answer, yes. And helper, this is what kind of value is this? Current. Sorry? Helper with the initial value. There's no current here. I want to initial from no. the first position. First position is what? Uh, lamp. What's the first position of the array? No. Integer, a value. Integer. What's the first position? Uh, you just need to give me a number. I want to start from the first one. position. No, one. it's not the one. One is the second. What's the first position? Zero. Zero. Yes, because I this is the first. Yeah, this is the first one. That's a big zero. Yeah, zero, and then and don't move it, move it. When current reaches the end, we have a permutation. Do, do you get it, Eric? Do, do you really understand? Look. Yeah, look. One, two, three, here, right? Current is here. I'm at the beginning, zero, right? When current is zero, I will be from zero to three, right? To two, right? Yeah? I in yeah. range current. Current is zero now. Am I right, Eric? And length dumps equals what? Length dumps equals what? Length dumps equals... Length dumps. How many elements? Three. Three. Okay, I zero to three, but not up to three. So zero, one, two, right? Yeah. Zero, one, two. I will be zero, one, two. When I is zero, I swap it with dumb zero, dumb zero. So I swap this value with Excel, so it doesn't change, right? Yes? Yeah. When I is one, I swap one with two, right? Yeah, when I when lambs equals three, uh, two, I swap with three and one, right? Why I need to drop? Each time I that I'm determining this position. I'm checking how many possibilities. There are three possibilities, right? Yeah? So I'm checking. I'm letting each possibility stand in this position, right? After I let it stand in that position, and then I need to move it to the next one, Eric. Anyway, which is current plus one, right? Current plus one, right? And I'm dealing another similar problem with a, with a smaller size of problem, right? But after I deal with it, I need to swap it back, right? This is, this, this is very important, I need to swap it back. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So look, one, two, three. And then I swap it, swap it. Like two, then it'll be two, one, three, right? Two, one, three. But after I, I do this, I need to swap it back. So I need to swap, swap it back. So because if I don't swap it back, what happened? If I don't swap it back, like two, one, three. And then the next time, then it becomes three and two, swap it. But I, originally, I want to swap it one and three, right? If I swap it like, that will become three, one, two. Then there will be some missing. Got it? Do you, do you understand this one? Because for each one, one, two, three. I want to swap it with, uh, there will be one, two, three, two, one, three, and three, two, one, right? Yeah? That's, uh, I'm talking about the first position, yeah? Swap it, swap it, uh, swap it. If I don't swap it back, look, if this is, I don't want to swap it back, then that, that will be three and two. That will become three, one, two, not, not three, two, one, all right? Yeah? Does it make sense? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Can you explain to me why this is a deep copy? Just make sure you're listening. Uh, are they both be the same? If we not deep copy, then if I push this answer, as answer append the lambs, you will be all the same. You will be yeah. all the same. Yeah, that's what I said. Because it's a reference. It's an alias. You're not alias. Yeah. It's like, it's like I call you Eric and call you uh, Mr. Lai, Mr. Eric. Mm -hmm. Both are the same person. Yeah? If, then if I add append lambs, then all I get is six Eric, all I get is a six copy, a uh, six reference to lambs. Then there will be the result will be all one two three, 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 because they are the same, right? Am I right? 
But when I add it, when I need to add the numbers, nums to the answer, then at that point, at the point of time, the nums contains different permutation, right? It could contain three to one, right? Am I right? Mm. And then I need to deep copy, and I will copy that value three to one to a new array, right? You'll be deep, so you'll be deep array. So so basically, it's like that. What what's the copy? Okay. Look look. A look A, A look. Anyway, equals anyway, equals E R I C. Okay, anyway, equals anyway. Okay, and then I need to do this like uh, E R I C R I C E. Yeah, and then I have I another one. E Eric two. Eric two. Equals Eric. So what do you think will happen? If I change the look, if I do this, every two, every, every two dot a pen. Rice. A pen. Rice. Lie. Okay. A pen lie. Okay. Okay. Eric. Every two dot a pen lie. So what do you think the Eric and Eric two will be? So Eric will be what? Eric, this value will be what? An array of what? E-R-I-C Yeah, E-R-I-C With lie or with lie? Lie With lie, yeah? yeah. And Eric too is Lie Yeah, that, that's what it means Because this is the reference You are pointing to the same position But, but, look If I say this Deep copy Eric So what happened this time? Eric to append Eric a line. So Eric will be what? Eric will be what? Eric 2. No, no. Eric 2 equals deep copy Eric. Then Eric 2 dot append line. So Eric will be what? Eric will be. 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 Eric yeah, Eric took a pen line. Eric line. Yeah, Eric line. Yeah, that's what it means. When you copy it, then you become two independent things, right? Yeah. You, manip you manipulate with one, doesn't affect the other one. But if you don't have this thick copy, the, especially the list in Python is passed by reference. Reference, what's reference? Alias. It's the same, right? So Eric 2 equals Eric. That means Eric and Eric 2. Yeah, Eric and Eric 2 are pointing, look, these two are pointing to the same place, all right? Yeah. And, but when you do this Eric 2 equals deep copy Eric, what happened? Look, look, this line will be gone, and then there will be another thing, yeah? And then here, you change it here, it doesn't affect here, right? Got it? Okay? Good job today. Good job today. Say bye-bye, see you tomorrow, Eric. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.